Spain. It is a reaction turbine. Reaction turbine means so that is energy available at the inlet of the turbine is partially pressure energy and partially kinetic energy. Here in this type of turbine, the end of the shaft made bigger. Okay, like this. And some blades may be provided in the shaft. In such a way, there are two types of turbine. If this blade can be adjusted, that turbine is called a Kaplan turbine. The blades provided in the bigger portion of the shaft that is called a hub. The blade provided in the hub can be adjusted that a turbine is called a Kaplan turbine. If the blade cannot be adjusted then that turbines are called a propeller turbine. That is using in the marines, marine vehicles and this is the Kaplan turbine. Here this is the inlet of the turbine so water available at this end that is pressure energy and the kinetic energy and when the fluid passing through the stay vein and then gate blade and then the runner blade at that time pressure energy goes on decreasing and then it converted into kinetic energy so at the exit of the turbine, there the pressure is less than atmospheric. In order to discharge a fluid from turbine exit to tail race, an area increase in pipe is using, this is the draft tube. This is a conical draft tube. A gauge that is connected here, that is a vacuum gauge, because it is, here the pressure is less than atmospheric. But at the same time, in the case of pump, in suction side there is a vacuum gauge and delivery side pressure gauge but in reaction turbines here the inlet pressure is more pressure head is more that pressure g goes on decreasing so exit pressure less than atmospheric so a vacuum gauge is connected here in this vacuum gauge the pressure is in that is in mm of mercury Based on that, that is, we know that the atmospheric head in terms of mercury is 760 mm of mercury. That is H equal to P by rho G. P is atmospheric 1.01325 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square. And rho that is density, here that density the specific gravity of mercury into density of water into G9.81. It is 0.76 meters of mercury or 76 centimeters of mercury or 760 mm of mercury. Here that is here 10 to here it is 0, 100, 200 up to 700. So 760 mm of mercury is the atmospheric head. So less than that, here the pressure is less than that is 760. And here is the pressure gauge. Here also in kg per centimeter square and lb per square inch, we need that kg per centimeter square. And after the production of, when the water passing through that turbine, uh, that pressure energy goes on decreasing and velocity energy increasing that uh, velocity energy that enable to run that uh, turbine and that uh, velocity that energy converted into mechanic uh, that is mechanical energy available there so that the turbine shaft rotating and uh, here this is uh, this is for the study purpose so here no electric power production that uh, turbine shaft coupling with uh, a dynamometer shaft. This is the dynamometer in which uh, two spring balance are connected here to measure the output power. By applying load on it, uh, 
we can find out how much is the output power available here. It is a rock drum dynamometer. So before starting the experiment, first we have to calculate the how much is the maximum load that can be applied. That is based on the formula BP equal to 2 pi NT by 60. In which the specifications of that the plant turbine here, the brake power is 2200 watt, all the quantities in SI unit. So BP equal to 2200 watt, that is equal to 2 into pi into EM speed of the turbine, that is 1000. And the torque, that is, it is a, a rod. Uh, a rock drum dynamometer so s1 minus s2 into that is in kg converted into newton so into g into r by 60 from which s1 minus s2 we can calculate that is 2200 into 60 divided by 2 into pi into 1000 into g 9.81 into radius of the brake drum dia of the brake drum here it is mentioned that is the brake drum dia 300 mm so that it is 150 mm it is 0.15 meter so that we can calculate that maximum load it may be around 2.6 kg that is the maximum load and also one more thing here in order to measure the actual discharge a venturi meter is provided here but it is not a calibrated one so we have to use the equation actual discharge of the venturi meter is cd into q theoretical cd we have to assume in the case of venturi meter it is 0.9 into a1 a2 into root 2 gh divided by root of a1 square minus a2 square but in the case of uh, Francis turbine it is already a calibrated one so that uh, kh raised to n is directly we can apply but here q actually is equal to cd into q theoretical and the area of the uh, throat and the area of the inlet the a1 is the area of the pipe and the, or area of the inlet and the a2 is the area of the throat that uh, we have to calculate and here in all the other pump that is the pump connected with the motor is centrifugal one so before starting we have to prime it but in this particular experiment no need to prime it because that is already immersed inside the water so that there is no chances to entrap air so no need of priming we can directly switch on the main so that electric power supply and then water flows through the this is the pen stroke and then that the water enters there. In this particular experiment, after starting, now the time after starting, then it is you have to check. Before starting, you have to release the load or you have to ensure that there is no load in it. That is, this should be very loose. And after that, you can switch on it. Now the turbine running at no load condition, not the pressure gauge reading, vacuum gauge reading and manometer reading. After taking that as a reading, sir, then you can apply the load. In order to apply the load, you are simply rotating this wheel. That is, we are actually applying the load. When the load is applying, the speed that is decreasing. We have to conduct this experiment at the rated right output. So before applying load, you have to increase the quantity of water by rotating this one. So more quantity of water is coming so that the speed of the turbine is more than the rated right speed 1000. Then after that you can apply the load. So when the speed becomes 1000 you have to note the spring balance reading S1 and S2. And then pressure gauge and the vacuum gauge reading and the manometer reading in the left limb and the right limb. From which actual discharge is equal to CD into Q theoretical that is CD point and iron A1 that is A1 is the uh, area of the pipe that area of the pipe is here it is di diameter of the pipe that is 300 and 
throat diameter is one uh, sorry the uh, pipe diameter is 140 and the throat diameter is 70 mm so based on that a1 is equal to pi by 4 into 4 into 1 4 the whole square and a2 is equal to pi by 4 into 4 into 0 7 the whole square and uh, h h is equal to here manometer reading hl minus hr that is in centimeters of water sorry there it is centimeters of mercury into specific gravity of mercury minus specific gravity of fluid flowing divided by specific gravity of fluid flowing that is the h value from which that quantity a1 a2 into uh, root 2 g h so 2 into a1 a2 into root 2 g h 9.81 into h h is equal to that level difference into this quantity sm minus s2 that is 12.6 that is in centimeters of water convert that into meters of water so x into 12.6 divided by 100 divided by root of a1 square minus a2 square that is the third actual discharge then after that input power here the input power here the input power input power here the input power that is motor supplies uh, pump supplies water to the pen stroke so motor uh, pump output is the input of the turbine so input power is equal to rho g q h so rho into g into q that is q actual this q actual you have to substitute here and the head that head is equal to uh, pressure uh, pressure head from that pressure gauge reading this one hd plus hs suction head and the level difference between that so that pressure gauge reading kg per centimeter square that multiplied with a ton and this is in centimeters uh, centimeters of mercury that uh, you have to convert into meters of water and then level difference between that that is the total head substitute that uh, here so that uh, you can find out the input power and output power is equal to output power of the pump this output power is equal to t into omega that is 2 pi nt by 60 Here output power, suppose output power 2 pi nt by 60 in which 2 into pi into n that is the rate at speed 1000 and torque S1 and S2 value. Suppose in one particular reading S1 is equal to 8 and S2 is equal to 1. So 8 minus 1 into 9 point that is 8 and 1 that is in kg. So, into 9.81 into 0.15 divided by 60. That is also in watt. And then efficiency output power by input power into 100. That is the efficiency. After that, you have to plot, you have to plot a graph. This is the turbine. That is a power producing device in which output power or load you can take in the abscess. That is the independent quantity. And then output power versus efficiency and output power versus input power. These two graphs you have to plot.